Hello everybody, it's Diana. I'm here with the new project and guess what you guys, guess who came out with a brand new software? Looky! Come on, yay! Shortcuts Lot 6 came out finally, yay! Applause, 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 applause! I am so excited that they finally came out with something new. Um, I think they might have needed probably about the end of last year but of course I'm slow but nevertheless I still have it I think that shortcut slot is one of the better softwares and that you can use that's less expensive and they have gotten better updates and everything and so I'm really excited about the upcoming projects that we're going to be doing using shortcuts a lot I've been playing around with the software and learning new things so I'm excited to be able to share these things with you all. So one of them that they, one of the most exciting things to me that they have added to their software is what they call rhinestone scatter. And so today we're going to work on doing a project for this, which is rhinestone scatter. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this project. All right. So the first thing in order to do this is we need to actually write the text and so i'm going to press my text button right here and i'm going to type the word blessed okay make sure you always go back to the selection tool when you want to move it around otherwise you'll be having text and everything everywhere so i want to change the lettering so i go up here to the lettering part of it and then i want to change the font which is right here um this i don't know why it's white but I'm going to just, because I can see it, so I'm going to, I think what I use is basket, Baskerville. Oh, I can't ever say the word right. So I'm going to use this one right here. Okay. So with this, you want to make sure that when you are sizing it differently, um, either you can, if you want to keep the same proportion of it, you're going to hold the shift and change it. If you don't and you want to make sure it goes up, down, and things like that, you want to, you know, do it like that. Um, just use this arrow button right there when you're doing this you want to make sure that your sizing is correct because you want to make sure that the whole design is within the 12 by 12 um mat if that's what you want to use if you want to use it make it bigger and use a 12 by 24 mat that's great i really just want to use a 12 by uh 12 so i'm going to make this a little smaller um because i want to make sure that my rhinestones scatter is going to fit into there so right now it's at a 7.537 by 2.192 and it's going to be bigger when i do it um that it's going to change so i'll just leave it like this and so i'll select it and next thing i want to do is i want to add an effect so i'll go to effects and you can also do that by right clicking it as well but i just went up here and clicked effects and you're going to click rhinestone scatter and so as you see, this box comes up and it shows you the stone size, stone spacing, even the color of the stone. Um, you can adjust the spacing in the fit path if you desire to increase it or decrease it. You can uh, change the shape of it. They have three types of scatter shapes, which is the contour, eclipse, and rectangle, which I'll show you. You can change the scattering size of the design, the initial offset, the scatter offset, and if you want to add a fade, you can as well. Um, but I want to use this type stone right here, which is my circle stone. I want to keep it at the SS10 stone, and I want to keep my size as 290. I want to do, I do want to change my color though, so um, I want to add it to a gray. I want to click okay so that'd be the color so when I click preview that is what it looks like okay um down here also shows you what the shape will look like um if you have a contour rectangle or an eclipse as well so it kind of shows you each one um but I want to change um, a little bit of it so if you play with the scatter size you can make it bigger and I click preview and you can see that more stones uh, are added to the scatter. You don't have to keep it that way. You can take a little bit off. You can also change the initial offset. You can make the offset bigger. That takes off some of the splatter. Scatter, I'm sorry. You can make it smaller, which is, I like this right here. It makes it smaller. So it kind of, you know, con contouring hugs the shape of the, um, of 
hugs the shape right so that's what that does the scatter offset if you do it like that it changes it to look like that definitely don't like that or you can make it bigger up to you how you do it I'm gonna go back and make it as a one because I like the way that looks you can also add a fade to it if you want to that's what that looks like like that I don't necessarily desire a fade and this also shows you the uh, stone count okay so this is 331 stones um, also if you do it as an eclipse and you click preview this is what it looks like and then that you can change the width of it to make it wider you can change the height of it to make it bigger so it can have the whole word also it's the same thing but it's just a rectangle you can also change the height and the width to that looks like that you can change the height make it lower be closer like that but I want to go back to making it a contour and so there you have it right there and I'm gonna click OK all right so right now I'm at a 10.04 by 4.2 this whole thing so that's good I want it to be that way so the next thing I need to do is I actually need to um, highlight both of these together because what I want to do is I want to make sure that my path is joined and I also want to make sure that it is merged because what I'm going to do after it's merged is I want to um, have it as a okay so it is merged because now you can move it, it did, I'm sorry guys let me go back because I want to make sure this whole thing is I forgot to do that so I want to merge this all right that's what I want to do okay so now the whole thing moves all right so next thing I want to do is I want to add my box it's very important that you make the template in shortcuts a lot six and then import it into your uh, design space Cricut design space software because if you leave it like this which you can and you make it an SVG and you put it into the file you can do that or you can even make it into a PNG or a JPEG you can do that as well but if you do it as an SVG all of these it's a vector file so all of these circles become individual um, and it's harder to when you bring it over it's way bigger and then so it takes a while for it to upload it to design cricket space the cricket design space so it's better to do it here to make it into your template that you're gonna cut on your flock and then that way you can um, it's easier to upload so I have my so what I just did now is I made a rectangle again once you're done using this make sure you go back to the selection and then I want to arrange it to go to the back so I wanted to arrange to the back and I can also change the color of my box so I can go to my palette my color palette right here and I can change it to red if I want to and then that way you can see that the box is behind it okay and so right now if I look at both of these I'm at 11.8 so if I I made 11.00088 which is fine because I can still use it in my um, Cricut space under the 12 by 12 mat I can also make this box a little bit smaller okay and have it at 10.7 and then I could uh, again grab both of these and I'm holding on to my shift button and then making a box around both of them and so now what I want to do is I want to on the path I want to click exclude because this is what is going to allow it to make the holes in the box and it's going to take on the color of the word blessed all right so see there you have it that's what that looks like so now I want to go to export and I want to export this as a SVG and so I've been playing around with this so now this is gonna be number three bless I put rhinestone scatter and so I'll just keep it in, in my download so I can know exactly where to find it um this box still comes up nothing has changed in it I don't have to worry about resolution because it's not a picture uh does have any pixels to it um I don't have to worry about uh the registration marks because I'm not printing and cutting but I do want to 
keep the selection and I also want to make sure that it's design space compatible. It's very important that you do that. If you don't, then when you bring over the SVG, you might 99% of the time have issues. So I want to click OK. And so now I want to go to my design space and I want to do a new project. Um, I'm also going to keep it on my Maker 3. Um, I want to also make sure that it's beta. I'm in the beta version of it. And I want to click a new project. All right. And so now I want to actually upload my design that I just did. Hit browse. This comes up. Go to my downloads. This is the one I just did. Open it. As you can see, it came out just like that. It already has its name that I had already named it. So I want to upload that. And then I want to click this one and add it to my canvas. And as you can see, this is 10 by 10.7 by 5.77. If I go back to that was my ring, y'all. I'm sorry. If I go back to my shirt cuts a lot, look at the dimensions of it. 10.7 by 5.766. So this rounded up to 5.77. So this is fine. This is perfect. This is the way I want it to be. If by chance you say, hey, I want the holes, I don't want the exclusion box. Um, because I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make a faux rhinestone shirt, which is called Spangles, which is what you use with the holographic uh vinyl. You can do that, that's fine. It's gonna take a while. You hit this contour button. When you hit the contour button, you're gonna see the circle and it's gonna keep circling and circling and circling because now what it's doing is, it's bringing in the image and all of the cuts to the image. And so remember there's 331 stones and the word blessed and the cutout within the E and the Bs. So you'll see all of this start to pop up soon, but it takes a long time. This is about the time that it would take if I just used the SVG without making it into an actual template. That's how long it will probably take as well. So as you can see, it's starting to come up. What you would do is you would just hit this box and take that box away. And then you would see the design as you saw it when it was in Sure Cuts a Lot 6. I'm not going to wait on that because it takes too long. I don't even need all that. So uh, I can go ahead and click Make It. And it may take a little while to do it, but it'll come up for you. And when it does come up, it's going to um, ask you what choice of material you want to use you can use the smart material since it is a maker three um or you can but you don't want to use the smart material because you don't have with the flock it's not smart material yet um but you want to use for any material on this because i do have it in the right dimensions i could choose a 12 by 12 mat or i could choose a 12 by 24. i want to choose a 12 by 12 mat i don't want to remember the selection because i don't want everything to be on a 12 by 12 mat so I'm going to click confirm. As you can see, here is my design. Looks awesome. And on this, you do not want to mirror it because you're going to be using your rhinestone flock, your magic flock, or whatever kind of flock that you're using. And you're going to spread the stones onto that. So you want to make sure that this does not mirror. It's not mirrored. And so if you were doing it as a faux design and you were using HTV uh, holographic vinyl, you would mirror it because it's now being used you're using HTV but for this I'm not I'm using my flock and so I need to design to stay as it is so in the next video coming up I'm gonna go ahead and make it you'll see us making it on the on the Cricut Maker 3 you'll see me spreading my stones onto the flock and then we'll go ahead and press it on this shirt in my next video so stay tuned guys for part two all right talk to you soon